Well, we've got an exciting show in store for you today. Apart from giving you your weather and the arrival of the rain, we are in Myrtle Beach today. We are celebrating Can-Am Days, uh, inviting Canadians down to the beach. Jordan Reed will join her in just a bit as we explore all of what Myrtle Beach has to offer. Thinking of a vacation? Yep, I think you are in need of one. Wildfires in Wales, that's one of the things we'll be talking about in In The Know at 23 past the hour, the connection between the two. Before we head to Myrtle Beach though, let's take a look at conditions for us for this afternoon. Temperatures not as warm as yesterday, but certainly still above seasonal. Looking at 11 in Toronto, we've got the rain pushing in for us, 13 in Newmarket, 16 as we head toward the Niagara Falls area. A little bit cooler with the rain arriving a little bit later in the Coburg area. Area as we head through this afternoon. But if you're looking for some sunshine, food and fun, Myrtle Beach, that's the perfect place. Well, we are here in beautiful Myrtle Beach and I'm joined with Jamie. She is the chef and owner of Johnny D's. And Jamie, when I walked into this breakfast restaurant, it felt like a big old hug. I love it. That makes me really happy because that's what I want people to feel like embraced when they come in here, feel like home, feel like you're about to eat something good, mm -hmm. just feel like you're they're about to get taken care of my staff and I. You know, there's an army of people here every day waiting to serve them. So we just want, and, and it really comes from when we used to run diners in New York. So that's that's how we want it to feel in here. You go into the big diner hustling, bustling, and everyone's getting taken care of quick, quick, quick. So it's, it's nice. That's awesome. And as you look around, every single table here is full. People love it for a very good reason. Red Velvet Waffles. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Our Red Velvet Waffle has been a staple here since the beginning. And it's actually half cake batter and half waffle mix. So when we make three batters mixed together, a special ratio that I played around with. And then we make the cream cheese icing from scratch, not too sweet, adds a little creaminess. And then I have the good butter. I like to call the it good the good butter. butter. And <laughs> adds a little, uh, we make that too. And it adds a little saltiness, a little sweetness, and it really brings it together. And um, people just love it so much. And it's one of my favorites. You're speaking my language. Johnny D's as well. This is about your father. Tell me about that. So me and my dad started this restaurant about 10 years ago. I moved down. He was already living here I came down to visit a few days a few times and I was like I'm moving we packed up we opened this restaurant together and working every day now since he passed away two years ago to just carry on his legacy and I hope he's proud of us I can feel the love radiating from him right here thank you so thank much you, Jamie thank you, thank you. we have more to visit in Myrtle Beach but for now I'll send it back to you in studio red velvet waffles wow so many reasons to head to Myrtle Beach